Oh, I'm getting hot. I'm getting so hot running. Oh my goodness. Is anybody else hot? Yes. I see some other things that are hot. Fire, lava, the sun. There's a lot of hot things out there that God made. Let's take a look. Hi everybody, it's Friday. Woo, my favorite day. And it's time to do some decoding. Let's see what we got here. All right, do we have anything? Do we have a screen? Screen share? All right, we need some, aha. Here we go. We've got the er, e r, e r, er, i r, i r, er, u r, u r, er. And then we've got the trickers that also say er. Er, fur, erd, word, curl, curl, world. World hurt, hurt, ow, L earn. There's one of those trickers up there, too. Is this the side for trickers? This looks like the trickers side. Huh, hurry, hurry, heard, heard, ch -er -ch church, dollar, dollar. All right. Let me see. Which word tells something? A place. A place where we usually usually go on Sunday. A place where we should go on Sunday. Can you find it? That's right. It's the church. It begins with CH and ends with CH. Now you know it's Friday, so we do have a spelling test, but we will be coming, we'll swing back around, back to that at the end. Remember, we have two words with IR, two words with UR, and the rest of them are memory words. But if you, if you miss them, that's okay. You can just write them on the back five times a piece for the ones you missed to practice them. All right, let's read this today. Today it says, the hot sun heats the planet earth our world needs the sun for all life and that is true if we didn't have our sun we wouldn't have the heat the plants couldn't grow we wouldn't have anything to eat the animals wouldn't have anything to eat the sun is very important it's important that god gave us the sun all right today we will be doing one workbook page and this is called a crossword puzzle We've done maybe one or two crossword puzzles the whole year of first grade, so I know that this is something that uh, is a little bit unfamiliar to us. And this is going to be harder for me as far as writing goes, because I really need a stylus to write on here. And I could not find a stylus here at home. So let me see. Let me get this, and let's see what color we're at. Am I on black? Okay, so our choices are sport, sport words, words, park, park, bird, turtle, and fork. All right, here's the first clue. It lays eggs and can fly. So which one of these things lays eggs and can fly? Can a fork lay eggs and fly? No, that's silly. Hmm, a turtle can lay eggs, but it can't fly. So it's a bird, and we're going to one. So we're going to go here to one, and we're going to say B, I, R, and D. All right, and then I'm going to mark out the word birds since I used it. Number two, you eat with it. What's something that you eat with? 
Yeah, you eat with a fork. So that is going to be two. So here comes fork, the candy cane F. And we've got the or sound. I apologize for my handwriting. This is very hard to do with the mouse. Fork. Oh no, that's not it. I need an eraser. Handy dandy eraser. Fork. I'm starting to write Ford. I was thinking of the president or the the car instead of the thing you, the utensil that you eat with fork all right soccer is a fun blank what do you think maya ryan all those kids out there that play soccer i know there's a lot of you soccer is a fun what that's right sport number three sport Or sport. Soccer is a fun sport. Mark that out. There's only three choices left. You can spell lots of them. You can spell lots of this word starts with a P, so it can't be that one. You can spell lots of words. You can spell lots of words. Christina told me something interesting today. She was learning in one of her books because she's doing online learning too. She said that preschoolers learn nine new words every day. I'm like, wow, that's a lot of words that preschoolers are learning. All right, number five, kids like to play there. Yeah, you like to play in the park. It's fun to play in the park. Park has a pirate's favorite sound, R, park. And then the last one left, it has a hard shell. Carries its house on its back. T-U-R-T-L-E, turtle, turtle. T-U-R-T-L-E, turtles, what that spells, turtle. All right. So that's a crossword puzzle. And that's, that's all, folks. We'll go ahead and cross out that, and then we'll clear it out. Hope I'm not going too fast for anyone. Remember, if I am, you can always go back. It's the nice thing about this. You can't do that in, in school, can you? You can't rewind and go back or put me on pause. It's something different about uh, this distance learning. All right, hot stuff. When we last left hot stuff, yesterday we read about a fire. It was very hot. And then it's talked about a black smoker was even hotter than a fire. And then we talked about hot lava or hot rock inside the earth was even hotter than that. All right, so we've left off right here. And some of you might have written about this yesterday in your journal. Heat from the sky. All right, I'll give you some time to read it. Ooh. A streak of lightning is only as wide as two of your fingers, but it lights the sky. Flash! Lightning is hotter than melted rock, but some things are even hotter. What could be hotter than lightning? So what does it say? Lightning is only as wide as what? Yeah, it's only as wide as two of your fingers. That's not very wide. I mean, it looks so skinny when it's up in the sky, doesn't it? What could be hotter than lightning? Let's find out. Oh, I definitely agree. This has got to be the hottest thing, right? The sun is a vast, oh, there's that word, vast ball of hot gas. 
What does vast mean? Yeah, very large, going on and on. It heats the earth. If the sun were farther away, the earth would be too cold. If the sun were closer, it would be too hot for any life on our planet. The center of the sun is much hotter than lightning, but one thing is even hotter. So, I mean, you know that that was part of God's plan to put us perfectly away from the sun so we wouldn't get too hot, but not so far away that we wouldn't get too cold. And that's why Pluto, we think of Pluto, the little dwarf planet out there, it's, it's so cold because it's so far away from the sun and Mercury and Venus are right there next to the sun and they're very hot. What could be hotter than the sun? I always thought the sun was the hottest thing. There's something hotter? Hmm. All right, it looks like it's not my food when I get it out of the microwave. It's a sizzling star. These are blue stars. You can't feel their heat. They are much too far away. But blue stars are hotter than the sun. Nothing you can see is hotter. So a blue star, hmm, I think for blue stars, do you see any? Do you have any at your house, blue stars? No? Wow, so the hottest thing, and that's gonna be on your practice page today. You're going to have pictures, and you're going to have to look to see what is the hottest thing. So let's take a look at that right now. Let's find practice page 63 for today. And you will not have a backpack page because backpack pages are practicing spelling words and we have a spelling test. So no backpack page. So we have six pictures here. We have the campfire, the black smoker, the blue star. We have the melted rock, the sun, and the lightning. So you have to put those in order from the least hottest to the most hottest. And then it has a little square up here in the corner so you can put a number there. So I thought the sun was the hottest before I read this, so I would have immediately put a six right there. But now that I've read this, I realize the sun is not the hottest. There's something even hotter than the sun. So here you go. That won't take very long at all to do that, will it? And then if you'd like to read the story Hot Stuff again, that's always good practice. All right, so there it is, the cover. Hot Stuff. Hot Stuff. I learned all about the hot stuff today. All right, we're going to go back. We're going to take our spelling test, which means that you need to find today's agenda. And if you look at the back of today's agenda, it has the spelling test ready to go. Name on your paper, first thing. Name on your paper, first thing. All right, here we go. Remember, if you don't know it, it's okay. It's okay. All right, we're just going to try our best. Here we go. Oh, I almost showed the answer again. <gasps> turn. It was Ben's turn to play on the swing. Turn. 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 Which kind of er is it? Turn. Turn, turn. Turn. It was Ben's turn to play on the swing. Turn. Number two. Bird. A bird made a nest on my porch. Bird. B bird. I'll have to get my bird one last time. Erd. What kind of er do I have? Bird. 
burn. Take the cake out of the oven so it doesn't burn. Burn. B burn. 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 Number four. Third. Sal visited the fire station for the third time. Third. Third. Make sure you put a duh, not a buh. Third. Before you know it, you'll be in third grade. Third. Second grade next year, and then third grade the year after that. Number five. Again. I would like to go to the beach again. 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 And again. Ah, the beach. Again. I will play. Again. I would like to go to the beach again. 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 And again, that's a tough one, isn't it? It's pretty tough. Does, when does the party start? Does. 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 It kind of looks like do's. Does. Does. D uh, does. Can't really sound it out, can you? That's why it's a memory word. Cold. It was a cold winter day. Cold. Oh, oh, duh. I'll say for you. Cold. Oh, oh, duh. No. Do you know my friend Kendra? No. Do you know my friend Kendra? No. 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 Do you know my friend Kendra? No. Number nine. Both. We both agree chocolate chip cookies are delicious. Both. B. Oh. B. Oh. Both. I can hear the sounds in both. Laugh. Tick's funny joke made the kids laugh. Laugh. I would probably have trouble with this word. This is a pretty tough one. If you haven't written this again and again on your backpack pages, you might not know it. Laugh. So you may have to turn over your paper and practice writing again and laugh. Those might be two words that you just might have to practice. Like, remember I had trouble with the word magazine? I always spelled that wrong, and I had to write it again and again and again until I could get it right. All right, are we ready to check our answers? Here we go. Turn, T-U-R-N. Bird, B-I-R-D. Burn, B-U-R-N. Third, T-H-I-R-D. All right, here comes the memory words. Again, A-G-A-I-N, does, D-O-E-S, cold, C-O-L-D, no, that's silent K, that might have gotten you, K-N-O-W, both, B-O-T-H, and then laugh, L-A-U-G-H. All right, and be honest with yourself. Don't say you got an A-plus if you didn't, because you're never going to learn it if you don't practice it. If you really missed it, turn over your paper and practice it. That's all for today. Now that you're done with your spelling test, you're going to be doing practice page 63. I'll stop sharing so you can see that. Practice page 63. There we go. And we'll see how, what kind of uh, luck we have today with Go Noodle as far as finding it. All right, Go Noodle. We need to go down here and find it. All right, can you go, I wonder if you guys can see that. 
I'm not sure if you can see that or not. I wish I could ask you. Say, can you see that? And you'd be like, yeah, I can see it. I'm not sure if you can or not. I guess we'll find out. thinking that you can't see it because if you could see it I would be up in the corner of the screen so I'm thinking that you're not going to be able to see that so let's get out of this for a minute let's go down here let's click on that no no not having any luck with this. All right, well, I'll just get out of it and go back into it then. That's one way, go noodle. Try to get it ready ahead of time. Sometimes it's just really hard to see it. All right, let's share the screen. Still can't see it. All right, I'll stop doing that, get out of here. Let's go down here. All right, technical difficulties. I'll tell you what. Go noodle. Sometimes this happens in the classroom, doesn't it? We have some technical difficulties and it's hard to see what's going on. All right, let's see how we're doing this time. Let's try to share this time. Can you see it? Let's give that a try. Share. Go down here. All right, yay, we got it. All right, now I've got to find, we're gonna go back in time with hot dogs. So what one, What was that called? Is it called back in time? Yes, it's called Not Dog Time Machine. My parents who live where this Not Dog here. I need to travel back in time to 1985 to deliver an incredibly important message to my third grade self. Come on! Not Dog Time Machine! Slimy Slime! Dash! Ew! Wireless Headphones! Jump! I need a pair of those! The Bean Filled Boo! Dodge Right! A squishy duck rubber band loom jump a smartphone duck two thousand ten a DVD player jump a flip phone duck a happy sponge that's right. Rubber plastic clogs! Jump! What? No gibbet? 2000. Sour gummy worms! Dot left! I prefer Swedish fish! Inline skates! Jump! Butterfly clips! A portable CD player! Jump! Teenage Not Dog! I'm 7th grade Not Dog! Dog left! Hi, me! A major! Jump! A magic 3D poster! Dog left! I can never see what's hidden in those things! 
Scrunchies. That's right. Those are totally back in. A VHS tape. Jump. Floppy disks. Dodge left. I need one of those. As if. A cabbage kid doll. Jump. A calculator watch. Dodge left. A boot box. Jump. Totally righteous, dude. 1985. There she is. It's me in the third grade. Hey, little knot dog. I have an important message for you. Whatever you do, do not eat the purple cupcake. It is going to turn you burr. I've been knot dog. Oh. oh, I guess I'm too late. Want some? No, thanks. Okay. Is it good? <laughs> Try. Oh, that's silly. Oh, what's going to happen? <laughs> Growing up so fast, just like you. All right, I hope you have a super great weekend. And please send me a picture of your Statue of Liberty artwork. I would love to put it on Chargers and Friends and share it. And uh, I hope that you've had a great week this week. And if I have not talked to you, I'd love for you to give me a call. I'd love to talk to you. Just call me sometime. I miss you. Bye, everybody. <laughs>